Welcome to Battles and Beyond in today's day in World War II. On August 20, 1940, Italy, eager to assert its naval dominance and cripple British supply lines, announced a blockade of British ports in the Mediterranean. This action intensified the naval warfare in the region, challenging the Royal Navy's efforts to maintain open sea routes and exerting additional pressure on an already beleaguered Britain during the early stages of the war. British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, in an address to the House of Commons on August 20, 1940, delivered his iconic speech asserting, never was so much owed by so much owed by so many to so few. This statement was a poignant tribute to the Royal Air Force pilots defending Britain during the intense aerial battles of the Battle of Britain. His words resonated deeply, galvanizing national resolve and acknowledging the immense sacrifices of these brave aviators. The Chinese Communist forces, under the banner of the 8th Root Army, initiated the 100 Regiments Offensive on August 20, 1940. This campaign, targeting Japanese positions in North China, was one of the largest scale operations during the Sino-Japanese War. The offensive showcased the Communist forces' resilience and capability to challenge the formidable Japanese military in open warfare. In a symbol of the ideological ties between fascist Spain and Nazi Germany, the German 250th Infantry Division, colloquially known as the Blue Division, was formed on August 20, 1941. Comprising Spanish volunteers, the division was a manifestation of Spain's lingering fascist sentiments. Despite its neutrality in the war, the division soon began its journey to the Eastern Front, aligning with German forces against the Soviet Union. Guadalcanal, one of the key battlegrounds in the Pacific, witnessed a significant moment on August 20, 1942. Henderson Field, crucial for both the Japanese and Americans, received its first set of American fighter planes. This aerial reinforcement bolstered the defense capabilities of the Allies on the island, playing a pivotal role in the protracted and intense battle for Guadalcanal. In a decisive move on August 20, 1944, the Red Army, having achieved significant gains against the German Wehrmacht, resumed its offensive into Romania. This push was vital in severing German access to crucial oil fields and marked a significant shift in territorial control in Eastern Europe. The campaign underscored the diminishing hold of the Axis powers in the region. In a grim episode of World War II, 168 Allied airmen, having been shot down over German-occupied territory, were transported to Buchenwald concentration camp on August 20, 1944. Their fate was a stark departure from the usual practice of housing captured airmen in prisons or of war camps. The ordeal faced by these airmen at Buchenwald highlights the unpredictable and often brutal nature of captivity during the war. The post-war period saw the reckoning of many who collaborated with Nazi Germany. On August 20, 1945, Vidkun Quisling, the infamous Norwegian collaborator and head of the puppet government during the German occupation, faced trial in Oslo. His name has since become synonymous with traitor. This trial was a significant step for Norway in coming to terms with its wartime past and seeking justice for the betrayals of its own citizens. Thanks for watching Battles and Beyond. Also, be sure to check the link in the description for additional information. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay connected with our daily historical explorations.